The Kansas City Chiefs are world champions following a thrilling comeback in Super Bowl 57. And while there were numerous players and moments that led to the Chiefs' second Lombardi trophy in four years, let's talk about one of the game's heroes in wide receiver Kadarius Toney. Tony played just eight total snaps on Sunday, six on offense, and two on special teams, but to say that he made the most of them would be the ultimate understatement. In fact, Tony's efforts directly led to 14 points. His first big play, the iconic corn dog touchdown that brilliantly utilized a fake jet action motion to turn Tony wide open into the flat, will be remembered forever. But his 65-yard punt return, the longest punt return in Super Bowl history, was nearly just as impactful, and it happened only a few moments later. Here's a closer look at the punt return, which combined Tony's unique agility with tremendous blocking by the Chiefs' special teams unit. Tony caught the ball at the Chiefs' 30 on the far side of the field, and let's freeze it right here. There's five Eagles surrounding Tony. But somehow, some way, he's about to break this for one of the biggest plays of the game. Tony puts a filthy cut on the would-be tackler, escapes the scrum, and cuts toward the other side of the field. And look at this wall. Jody Fortson lays the first block, and then watch Marcus Kemp. He kicks into high gear to block this defender, while Darius Harris takes out another back here, but Kemp wasn't done. He made two more blocks downfield, helping Tony get all the way down to the Eagles' five-yard line. The Chiefs' special teams unit had their struggles at times this season, but it was only fitting that after coming up huge late in the AFC title game two weeks ago, the return unit once again delivered in the biggest of moments on Sunday. The Chiefs' victory in Super Bowl 57 was truly a complete team effort. And while he didn't join the team until week nine, add Kadarius Tony to the list of names that will live on in franchise lore forever.